Now, people always ask me, too, where did Cain get his wife? Well, he married his sister because he was Abel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> guys, Adam and Eve had Cain and Abel. Who is he going to marry? Well, a sister. The Bible says in Genesis 5 and that, that they had other, Adam and Eve had other sons and daughters. It's just that Cain and Abel are the ones that are listed to follow the line of Christ. And later Seth, to follow the line of Christ. But nonetheless, there are other sons and daughters. They married a sister. Today we go, oh, gross. Ugh. Well, yeah, it is gross today, and it's unsafe today. Because today, a brother and a sister, you have the same genetic mistakes. If you would get married and have children, you multiply those genetic mistakes, and your kids come out funny. And I don't mean comedians. It's physically unsafe. They can be mentally retarded, physically deformed. But Adam and Eve, they were created with a perfect, pure gene pool. Therefore, their children, I believe even after the fall, had a very pure gene pool because it's the radiation that messes that up. So what we see is that Cain and Abel could marry a sister, their gene pool would be pure, and you're not going to have physical problems. And it would have been socially acceptable back then. But by the time the flood comes, the firmament comes down, the radiation messes up the gene pool, and you give that a few hundred years, you get to the time of Leviticus, after the flood, and we see God stepping in and saying, no more incest, because by that time, it had been dangerous as the gene pool gets corrupted. Prior to the book of Leviticus, it was okay. Okay. 